Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. Kahalayim la Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakhakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. The pale horse is prepared for Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is America, North America, the United States. What is the pale horse? Revelation chapter 6 verse 7 And when he had opened the fourth seal I heard the voice of the fourth beast say Come and see And I looked and behold A pale horse And his name that sat on him Was death And hell followed with him And power was, was given unto them Over the fourth part of the earth To kill with sword And with hunger And with death and with the beast of the earth okay now the pale horse represents death angels okay and Esau the so-called white man he's the main part of that because Esau is the Lord's sword okay Esau's blessing is a sword so and also a sword is an instrument of death Okay, so Esau, the so-called white man, is going to bring death. All right? Now, you have a lot of people that have watched that This Is America music video by Childish Gambino or Donald Glover, whatever you want to call that guy, you know, his alter ego crap going on. But basically, in that video, people say that that showed the horse of the apocalypse. People were thinking that it was the white horse. No, in that music video, that horse was the pale horse. It represents death. That's what's coming to America. Hey, that music video, this is America, right? Death is coming to America, all right? On a major scale that this planet Earth has never seen before. All right, so let me read this again. Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. And I looked and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. All right, so death angels, okay? The spirit of death is coming to America, mass death. And hell follow with them. Hell representing the grave. So a lot of people are about to die in mass numbers. And power was given unto them, unto these death angels. And like I said, the so-called white man, he's a part of that. And power was given unto them, these spirits, over the fourth part of the earth. What's the fourth part of the earth? Babylon the Great, North America. The United States of America, that's the fourth part of the earth. Look at the world map. Okay? That fourth part of the earth is North America. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword. All right? Which is an instrument of death. An instrument of death. And like I said, the so-called white man, he's a part of these spirits of vengeance. And with hunger. So, these death angels are going to have people starve to death famine coming to America and with death so mass death and with the beasts of the earth so people are going to be getting attacked by wild beasts all this is coming to Babylon the great man so we're not in a good time all right a very bad time is coming man okay the worst time in history the worst time in human history man and it tells you that Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39 and verse 28. Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right? So that goes for all the spirits in the spiritual realm. They praise you how about Shem Shai. And they are messengers, whether on the right hand or on the left hand side, an angel is a messenger. All right. And these spirits of vengeance, those are messengers of death. So messengers of death are coming to America. Fire and hell and famine and death. I just read about that. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. And hey, you see the connection? To kill with hunger and with sword and with death and with the beast of the earth. 
teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. That's the point. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Right? So as soon as Yahweh by Shemiah Shai gives their edict and dispatches these angels to come on planet Earth during the time of Jacob's trouble, that's it, man. Hey, those angels are gonna give that salute and they're just gonna appear on the earth causing havoc, man. Okay? They shall rejoice in his commandment. You know, hey, you people seen that movie, uh, Final Destination? That stuff real, man. And it's coming to Babylon the Great on a, on a massive scale. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Right? So they're going to do exactly what they were programmed to do, which is destroy. All right? All types of havoc, man. Hey, the Lord is cold. Hey, man, you can have, uh, you can have different animals break loose from the from the uh, zoo putting people to death you're gonna have animals newly created by esau because esau is a mad scientist those animals gonna get loose all type of stuff about to be happening man you know you can't even put it in, in uh words evil angels all right apparitions strange apparitions the lord is about to plague america man you edomites you so-called white people you're gonna be plagued all right with demons like in that movie uh paranormal activity that stuff real man and for some reason these spirits always have it out for Esau because you Edomites have a lot to pay for. You Edomites, you so-called white people have a lot to pay for, man. Okay? You know, you shed the blood of the Israelites. You put the Israelites in slavery. Hey, the scriptures say, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. You have to pay for what your forefathers did. But also, you are your forefathers. Now, let me get something else. Okay? Which I'm going to come back to this. But I spoke about evil angels, right? Because the Lord caused evil angels to terrify the Egyptians. And you Edomites are the modern day Egyptians. Psalms chapter 78. And let's see here. Psalm 78. Oh, this is good, man. 78 starting at 43 he had wrought his signs in egypt and his wonders in the field of zoan and had turned their rivers into blood and their floods that they could not drink he sent diverse sorts of flies among them which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locusts he destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to, to hot thunderbolts. These are spirits of vengeance, you know, terrifying the Egyptians and destroying all that they had, destroying their economy, okay, putting them to uh, death, horrifying them. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. You see that? He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. And this is coming to Babylon the Great. All right. America's Babylon the Great. America is the Roman Empire revived. America is spiritual Egypt and Sodom. All right. So great plagues are coming. <coughs> oh, yeah. It's coming, man. And like I said, Esau, the so-called white man, he's a part of these spirits of vengeance as well. It's not as blessing the sword. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Talking about so-called white man Esau. But the just shall live by his faith. The just are the Israelites. The Israelites, all we have is faith. You know, we're prisoners of hope in Yahweh Shem Yah Shai. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine. Talking about so-called white man. All right, America transgresses by wine. America's democracy and philosophies. He is a proud man. So-called white man is a proud man. Neither keep it their home. Right, because America has military bases all over the planet. Who enlarge of his desire as hell. Hell is the grave. And is as death. Right. And I just read about 
you know how the pale horse the the, the the man that sat on him was deaf and hell followed with him all right so spirits of vengeance but also the so-called white man he's a part of that because hey, the scriptures say he who's coming is after the working of satan all right you know because you because uh you edomites you're the physical counterpart of satan on earth you're the sons and daughters of satan okay and you do satan's bidding who enlarge his, his desire as hell meaning you can't be satisfied you want that new world order and is as deaf right and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people all right which goes into that new world order you want to microchip everyone but the point is man going back to uh matter of fact salakia well let me read it again and then i'm going to get something else revelation 6 and verse 8 and i looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was deaf and hell followed with him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth right now let me close out with this daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 and at that time michael shall stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in a book so it's going to be a great time of trouble because these spirits of vengeance are going to be let loose on the planet and mainly in america matthew chapter 24 and let's see verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and except those days shall be shortened there shall no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened i hope you were edified barak thy yahweh barak thy yahweh shah by shum double honor to the apostles and elders great millstone Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.